Hello friends, this is Ishwar Singh and welcome to the lesson 2 of Android Tutorials. In this chapter, we will set up Mobogeni so that we can debug Android applications uh, to our, with our phone, mobile phone. And we will also set up ADD tools with the Troid screen so that uh, we can see the output of the Android app on our laptop screen. So let's first download and install the Mobogeni. To install the Mobogeni, you need to visit www.mobogeni.com slash in and uh, you need to download Mobogeni 3.0 Mobogeni for PC uh, after downloading Mobogeni for PC you need to install it I have already downloaded Mobogeni so I will just install install it and uh, press ok Mobogeni basically helps us to install the USB drivers for the Android device so can we can so that we can debug Android applications with the mobile phone and uh, I also want you to download ADB tools in the ADB tools Android at the link of ADB tools Android at screen uh, will present at uh, the bottom of the lesson one now Mobogeni has installed try it now it's connecting Mobogeni with my device yes I have Asus Zenfone 5 so this is my home screen so Mobogeni has uh, successfully installed the drivers so now uh, here you will find the link of uh, the file uh, of ADP tools and Android at screen when you will visit on this link you need to download the file and uh, I here I also downloaded this file <coughs> yes here is my file the first one now cut this file from here and paste it over the desktop now open this file and uh, extract the ADB tools and try that screen once you have extracted the ADB tools folder and try that screen now click try that screen and it is automatically initialized if it doesn't automatically initialize you need to initialize it first for, for that you need to click on the option sorry you need to click on ADB ADB executable path then explore go to desktop where it is your ADP tool folder is placed on the desktop ADB tool is placed click on adb.exe and open it and once you have ok the mobile device will show up here now this is a very large in size if you wanna shrink its size just drag it down here yes it shows my complete mobile phone and uh, now my, my mobile screen is live on my laptop if I click on this menu button it will also affect the screen so thank you very much for watching this video hope you will like this and for my next tutorial we will start our first Android application we will create our first Android project thank you very much for watching this tutorial